Hey, it's Noel coming to you with another video here. Just talking a little bit about what I'm seeing in the market and what I'm up to in the single family rental space. So CoreLogic came out with some numbers. They're still pretty aggressive. Appreciation. Don't know when that's going to slow down. And, you know, I kind of got it wrong on a few things. I really thought that the second home markets were going to suffer. What I didn't take into account is everybody wants to move to the second home markets. So in a market like where I'm at here in Colorado in Seamboat Springs, we just have one of the best weeks ever in real estate transactions. Previous years, these would be a lot of second homeowners. Now these are a lot of primary residents. I think it's going to fundamentally change some cities in some markets like this, where you're getting more long-term residents living. The appreciation rates have been still very aggressive. I don't know how long it's going to last at this kind of clip, but it's there and it does affect affordability. But then we also have the low interest rates. So that helps affordability. So I think those things kind of offset each other. Still a ton of aggressiveness in the bill for rent markets right now. I've been working at a little bit higher level with some of these large land developers and a lot of these private equity backed builders that are jumping in feet first uh, with bill for rent. And that's really interesting because uh, we're seeing some pretty low yields. It's a couple of things we're working on, a couple of large portfolios of bill to rent. If you're interested, let me know. Really working on placing that money with uh, some 1031 exchange buyers, some, some large 1031 exchange buyers. We're talking deals that are in the um, 40 to $50 million range and down from there. So really interesting stuff. I think we're just going to see a lot more growth in this space. And a lot more of these home builders really embracing the build for rent space and, and starting up their own divisions that really just focus on build for rent because really going to the builders now, they're selling all their inventory. So it's a little bit tough. So the funds are getting creative. They're providing financing to help these builders build a uh, product for them. It's an interesting aspect. But again, we're seeing the retail buyers outpace the fund buyers by quite a bit on yield because the retail buyers are buying a market. They're looking at that home price appreciation long term over 10 to 20 years and and they're willing to take a much lower yield and just some interesting stuff there. Another thing that's happening is we're seeing the unemployment benefits start to sunset and some of the eviction moratoriums are being put back in place. It's going to be interesting what we see with a lot of rent burdened or house insecure, they say, people and how that's going to affect the overall market. I don't believe most of the build for rent tenants are really affected by this. They're in that next tier up. It's the lower tenants that are going to be affected and this is going to affect investors and it's going to affect small and large investors. So that'll be an interesting thing to watch. Uh, just really working on, still pushing this, really looking for the 1031 exchange buyers, really working with a lot of these builders. We are rolling out our RW Select program here very soon, and we're looking for more builders to enter into that program. And essentially what RW Select is, is that we're showing that more affordable inventory on our site. It allows these smaller investors who don't have a great avenue to get to these types of homes to buy some of these homes. And they're just as competitive as a home buyer, if not more. If you're a builder, if you're interested in this. I don't do shameless plugs too often on this, but I really believe in our RW Select program that we're going to be rolling out and that we're currently rolling out now. Go to rwselect.com. You can see what it's going to look like. And we're starting to get a lot of buy-in. Um, the first builder we're working with, they've sold out everything they had. So it's great. And we're going to continue to push this program. Appreciate your time. Look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.